Looks like it's chewing up pretty good. A lot of hay going up and down I-15. I have to admit, I'm a hard working person. So we noticed yesterday this tractor was sitting awfully close to the ground and I asked Jeremy if there was something wrong with it and he said no it just likes to sniff the dirt while it's sitting here so we're gonna get it fired up we're gonna go do some disking this morning See if she'll start. Oh yeah, fired right up. Alright, we'll go let her warm up for a little bit. Go get back in the truck where it's warm. Before we can head to the field, we gotta air this tire up. It's got a slow leak in it. It needs to be replaced. It's got a pretty good slit in it, but I think we're gonna try and make it through the season and get it before they change it. It's plenty cold out here. It's only about 32 degrees right at the freezing mark. A little bit more. It is cold this morning. We've got that normal Tremont and breeze blowing. I don't think there's a time the wind doesn't blow around this valley. All right, there we go. Yeah, it's got a pretty good slit right there, and then it's getting, camera don't really pick it up, but it's getting weather checked pretty good, so. All right, I think we'll head to the field now. All right, we're rolling. I even remembered how to set the auto steer up in this tractor. I didn't have to call Jeremy. I had to ask him a couple of days ago when he had me disc in the other fields because I couldn't remember, but. We got it. We're auto steering. We'll see if we can get this 40 acres disc again and then go disc Elwood. Looks like it's chewing up pretty good. So hopefully this will chew it up enough he can come in and disc rip it after we're done. Here in a few days, let the top dry out a little bit. But he brought the big tractor in from Blue Creek and got it hooked up to the disc ripper so he can rip it pretty good. And then really loosen this packed crap up because this stuff is packed pretty stinking hard. So, all right, guys, I'm going to disc for a little while, so I'll check back in with you here in a little bit. Well, we got the first field done. Started the second one. Had to get out and stretch for a minute. Figured I'd look everything over. Just real quick. Back was starting to hurt sitting in there. Everything looks good. Now, I just gotta find a bathroom. And where there's no corn standing, this might take a minute. Oh, we're back in the cab. 
I did find a bathroom. Thankfully, it was not occupied. But I'm going to start going again. Got to get this one done. Then we've got to go down to Elwood and do it. And then we'll go back and help Jeremy clean the combine out. All right, guys. Waldron's is done. We're going to move down to Elwood. I thought I'd set the camera up and do a little time lapse of moving down there and getting started. So here we go. A lot of hay going up and down I-15. A lot of traffic too. We're on the last pass on these Andros. Then I'm going to head back to the shop. And I think it's lunchtime. But I would love to know where all this freaking traffic is going. This freeway never used to have this much traffic on it. Times are changing. All right, guys, we finished that one. I'm just out here checking the discs, make sure we don't have any really bad plugged up ones. Try and knock some of this off. So when we get it back to the shop, it don't dry out and fall off in the yard. So I'm gonna throw my gloves on try and knock some of this out. There's a big chunk.
All right, I'm gonna call that good. I'm gonna head back to the shop now.